Hey everybody, this is Filled with Chill, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to get a super wide angle lens effect from a uh, fisheye, such as using a GoPro. So if you use a GoPro or any kind of fisheye effect type of camera or lens, and uh, you just don't like the effect of fisheye, and you want something uh, like this, for example, where the, the edges are pretty distorted, it's kind of like turning off the FOV in a PC video game, uh, the edges are kind of distorted, but the benefit of this is the motion looks very fast. It looks like it's coming at you, and you can just, yeah, you can tell um, everything is just extremely smooth. And I really, really, really like this type of effect. And uh, before I found this out, I actually thought that I would have to buy an expensive, uh, you know, 10 millimeter lens for my Canon uh, T1i, which is the camera that I have but I later found out that I can actually achieve this type of effect and <laughs> it looks exactly like this and I can achieve this type of effect only using my GoPro HD Hero 2 so how do you do this um, now stay with me guys this uh, video is gonna be pretty long uh, I tend to talk a lot about what I'm trying to you know say to you guys but here we go so this is not my information for ex uh, I was just about to say, for example, this is not my information uh, for your information. <laughs> uh, this is actually from a website right over here, and it's called, I'll actually uh, link this in the description so you can read it yourself, but uh, as myself, I was not very, uh, you know, experienced with virtual dub, and it took me a couple of hours to actually uh, get this to work. So right now, I'm actually going to show you guys how to get this to work. Uh, by yourselves you know in a video form because I think this is easier so first thing you're gonna wanna do is download and install virtual dub and just go to this website copy and uh, let's uh, paste it over here here's virtual dub uh, just read on here and then you'll see this little download button and click virtual dub at sourceforge.net and uh, you're gonna find this little link down here. Now you're gonna want to download the 32-bit version, even though you have, even if you do have a 64-bit version of Windows, you're still gonna want to download the 32-bit version because the plugins that we're gonna download are only compatible with a 32-bit version. So click download. I already have it downloaded, so don't worry. Uh, so I'm not actually, I'm not gonna download it. I don't know. I said don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's close this. So once you download and install it just just create a nice little folder for it on your desktop or wherever you want it and once you open your uh, you know your uh, your WinRAR this is the 64-bit version but your 32-bit your version is gonna have uh, like two or three more files so just you know copy it over to your new uh, your new folder here and you're gonna see this plugins and you know these two uh these two files right here and this file plugins right here is what you're gonna want to uh, work with anyways the second thing you're gonna want to do is download and install this right over here and uh, let's copy and paste this um, okay so actually you you don't need this you don't need this but it's recommended so just download and install it and uh, you're just gonna you're gonna be able to export or compress in a, I mean different type of types of uh, codecs which this includes so I already got this uh, just download and install it you don't need to put it in any uh, folders or anything you just install it and it's already there alright next thing you're gonna wanna do is download and install uh, Emil Emiliano Ferrari's filter package and this is the this is where you this is the important part this is what you're what you really want right here this is your gold uh, right here don't download the sources download the binary because that that's the one that has the VDF file which you'll need so just download this binary I already downloaded it I don't know why I'm downloading it again but whatever so here are all the VDFs 
and uh, what you want is the barrel one so just pick out that barrel one and put it into plugins I already have it in there but all you're gonna want to do is just drag it into the plugins folder and uh, you're good to go from there so just open up virtual dub and I know if you never worked with this program it looks pretty confusing you're like why is my screen blank what do I do what do all these buttons mean well it's pretty easy so just hit file open video file and find a video that you want to import um, also your file is gonna have to be AVI so if you have your GoPro footage footage as it as is uh, that's not gonna work or it doesn't have to be AVI it can be any of these right here that it shows right here MPEG MPV all that crap but I recommend if you're converting your original footage I recommend converting it to AVI because that's like the best footage you can get um, all right so I t uh, <laughs> slight uh, um, technical difficulty here because I actually deleted my my AVI file so I'll be right back all right now that I have the test footage finished and done let's open a virtual dub once again now hit file open video file and go to your test footage or whatever footage you have uh, now as you can see it's a little too big so just right click and hit 33 percent and do the same thing on the after see this is before and this is after okay now that we have this go to video uh, now if you have if you want to do the FFD show hit compression and a quick FFD show video codec but I don't want to do this I'm just gonna click GoPro sign form codec and just you know go to configure and if you want to get this codec just download uh, their video editing program on their website so now go to filters add and find barrel distortion click on barrel distortion oh first actually uh, before you do this it's not going to be here so you're going to want to load actually I forgot this part and then in your plugins just click OK open on uh, the barrel and then you're going to see this barrel distortion thing here alright now once you have this click OK and you're gonna have you're gonna see this alpha and beta and this is gonna be pretty crucial to uh, how your video is gonna look like and I've got actually the perfect formula for uh, the GoPro fisheye um, where it's perfectly flat and perfectly uh, you know distorted to a good point so first you're gonna want to uncheck aspect ratio because that just messes everything up and uh, these are my code settings right here they are very close to the ones that you can find at the website in the description but I changed them a little bit so that it, it's better so right here just copy paste I will also put this in the description below and uh, copy and paste hit okay hit okay and let's play alright apparently I didn't have any and audio is kind of messed up so as you can see the left and the right are a lot different on the right all the corners are almost not round at all they're almost perfectly uh, perfectly square and the edges are pretty nicely distorted it just looks pretty cool uh, the only problem is it is a little bit zoomed in but that's okay it still looks pretty wide angle anyways this is pretty slow so just hit file save as AVI just like that and make sure you have a lot of space uh, this is gonna take if your video is about even one minute it's gonna take like more than 10 gigabytes so make sure you have a lot of hard drive space let me make sure what I have all right, I have 142 gigabytes left, so I'm pretty good here. And just uh, hit it, say it save. And I like to 
make this as fast as possible. So I'm going to click highest. And you're just going to want to wait till this finishes. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. That Really, that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, and then you can just open it in your Ve uh, Sony Vegas or whatever editing program you have. And uh, just open it in there. And, you know, proceed on. Uh, proceed on. Uh, editing your uh, your video sorry I got distracted there okay thank you guys for watching this video please subscribe and like and I will be doing these videos regularly on anything I find interesting or pretty cool to do a tutorial on so thank you for watching subscribe like and uh, stay tuned for the ending of this video because after this I'm gonna show you guys that before and after side by side all right see ya this is going to be my test footage, and as you can see, see very fish eye. -y. And we have a few uh, objects here to show the fish eye effect. And uh, once you see this without the fish eye effect, it's going to look a lot better.